We'll begin with opening comments from Coach Graham. Well, I uh, want to congratulate West Virginia. That was a heck, a heck of a ball game, and uh, they were uh, just a tremendous uh, team. I want to congratulate them, give them credit today. Um, more than anything, I want to talk about my seniors. Uh, proud of our football team. Uh, they played hard. I'm really, really proud of what our seniors have accomplished uh, here in the last four years. Absolutely. Um, you know, I told them in the locker room we let them down today. Um, it was tough, you know, um, you know, losing Lyo on defense was difficult coming in. Obviously, had some coaching change stuff. Um, uh, we're uh, supposed to go for two-point play and don't do it. And that's my responsibility. But uh, um, I, I told our players, you know, it um, doesn't take away from how hard they played. Um, and I'm really proud of these guys. Uh, like I said before, you know, the four best years uh, – Academically, on the football field, maybe in history, and and on the football field, you can go back to 1974, one more games, and uh, told these guys we're committed to go to work and get better. Uh, but um, we made some really, really bad mistakes, especially right there, management there, um, to let that happen, and um, that was very disappointing. Obviously, the, the story in the game, the toughest thing in the game, is we just couldn't contain the vertical pass, uh, and uh, we blew some coverages early that hurt it. So. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of my football team. I'm proud of these seniors. I'm proud of this guy sitting next to me um, and that senior bunch. Tim White's unbelievable. I mean, phenomenal. A warrior today. Thought he was definitely the, I mean, stood out on the football field. So really proud of our football team and proud of these guys. And, uh, you know, can't say enough about our seniors. We'll open it up for questions now. Please raise your hand so we can get a microphone to you. Here on the left center. Todd, what was the issue on the, the two-point conversion there? What yeah. was, was we met, you know, I mean, it's my, my, it's my fault. I mean, we, we met, and um, in the fourth quarter, we have a chart in the box that we go by, and um, we're supposed to be going for two, and we didn't. We, so it's mismanagement on our part, and it's my responsibility. You know, we had some – it was obviously difficult. I mean, you know, just the communication and stuff. Uh, Mike did a tremendous job. Mike was pretty much the offensive coordinator and uh, did just a phenomenal job. And Mike would be the first to tell you we're so grateful to Coach Lindsey uh, for coming in here and in a couple of weeks and doing what he did. Uh, you know, uh, uh, he actually, uh, with Mike here, uh, actually called the plays today. Uh, and uh, I'm really proud of what he – um, I mean, it, you're talking about a really difficult situation. We have a game management meeting. We have a chart. We're supposed to be going for two. Just trying to get down. Should have, should have, you know, couldn't get down time. The ball was snap kicked the extra point, trying to call a timeout. So we had, we had several things like that today that were tough. But that's my fault and uh, should have, should have, uh, should have, um, should have uh, made sure it happened. Next How much question. you can say about that? We just, that's it's mismanagement. Here on the right, second row. Todd, um, you've lost five games in which you had a lead in the fourth quarter just in the second half of the season. Prior to that, I think one only in your time at ASU. Is there anything that you could put your finger on with that? No, uh, well, I mean, I really, I mean, I, I point, I look no further than me. I mean, uh, you know, it's leadership is why you win, you, you win close games and why you lose close games. And we're the same group of guys. We're the same people that, uh, you know, I told these guys, you know, these guys have, have taken this program to the Pac-12 championship in 13. These seniors have been a part of that. And, uh, you know, we just didn't finish. And uh, too many mistakes. And, uh, you know, you can make all the excuses you want about injuries and things like that. And, and it was tough. I mean, these guys will tell you. I mean, it was very, very difficult. Um, I know it was a challenge for Coach Lindsey to come in here. And Mike was phenomenal. Mike had a lot to do. He putting the game plan together. And uh, But, but – um, you know, there were some obstacles, but, uh, you know, um, I can't, you know, we, we've always won those games in the past and, uh, you know, we just, you know, didn't finish. And a lot of it, most of those wins are self-destruction. Uh, and um, we got to do a better job. Uh, yeah, I look to the, you know, the games that we lost, especially the three on the, you know, basically the last player, last series of the game. And um, we've got some things in there that we could have definitely done from a management standpoint to do a better job. Uh, I can tell you this, these players are giving us everything they got. 
And um, we've had some challenges, and we've, you know, we've just lost a lot of close games. And uh, these kids have left a great legacy and a great foundation. We got to go to work, and this should make us extremely hungry because it's extremely frustrating. Uh, and I know it's fr uh, frustrating for fans. It's, it's, I can tell you, it's uh, really, really frustrating for us. But today was one heck of a football game, and we played one heck of an opponent, and they did a tremendous job. Uh, but I really felt like our guys, you know, really played well enough to win the game, and uh, we made uh, too many mistakes. Uh, third and 17, we're in, we're in a basic call, and, and we don't get it communicated and give up a run where we, we had the run sealed all night long. So we just, it's just in critical downs, we're making some critical mistakes, and, uh, you know, that's what's it's, the difference between winning and losing is that much. So we got to go to work and, and let this, uh, you know, these guys, we've learned from these seniors and be hungry and moving forward because we're not far off. I mean, it's just a lot of close games, but, um, you know, they go down as L's. So, you know, um, that, that's, it's frustrating. But I'm proud of our team, proud of our guys, and we're on a solid foundation. Right here up front. Um, Todd, you said that the, their uh, vertical passing game was the story of the game. Uh, what exactly gave you so many fits about that? Excuse me? About their passing game? Yes. Well, just them throwing over the top and throwing touchdowns on us. That was, that was, the, that was the biggest thing. I mean, we, uh, we blew a coverage the first series. Uh, we were trying in the game, we tried to do less six-man pressure because, you know, we, we lost our you know, Lau at, at strong safety. So a lot of our pressures that we normally run were not very effective. And so we tried to roll to cover three, we, stuff we don't do that much. And so we blew the coverage. We blew a couple of coverages. And then, I mean, he just ran by. He ran by, you know, Quishy several times. and. You know, um, we we tried you know putting Solomon in there. We tried, you, know, you know Gump did a great job. You know Gump had, you know went in there and did some good things. But uh, it was just it was difficult. You know because uh, it was really you know the, their speed and we, our inability to get pressure on the quarterback. Next question. Here on the left center. <coughs> Tim, you, you had a ton of all-purpose yards today. What was clicking for you in the return game? Uh, what was clicking? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, my blockers, you know, they do everything. You know, they do all the hard work. I just have the easy job and see the hole and hit it. Next question. Staying on the left. Uh, Coach, Devin Lucian went over 1,000 yards today for the season. Um, what exactly was the last three games? He kind of really went off his last three games of the, of the season. And he was only here for a year. So how do you think ASU fans should remember him just one year here as a Sun Devil? Well, I think he did a great job. I think, you know, you know, he and Mike had a history going back. And Mike came to me when he, you know, when he wanted to come here. And uh, I think it was a good decision. I think he did a great job. I think, uh, uh, you know, later in the year, uh, we were able to, uh, you know, start getting our rhythm a little bit. And I think it had a lot to do with the development of those receivers. You know, Tim and Devin and them, they've only been here one year. And so uh, that that development, as they got better and developed and the rhythm and timing, and uh, that's why, why we had so much more productivity uh, down the stretch. So I, I'm really proud. I'm really proud of Mike. I'm really proud of what he did today. And uh, he, he played outstanding. And. Uh, he's like a coach on the field and coaching those guys and developing those guys. And we got great young men that, that do a tremendous job. And um, But I, I'm really proud of Devin and what he was able to come in here and do. He did a great job for us and was a very productive receiver for us. And I think he's learned a lot about the Sun Devil way and how we do things. And uh, he's really grown as a person. So uh, I'm proud that he came here. Second row on the right. Uh, coach, you had to burn your first time out of the second half on a kickoff. Uh, what happened there? Was it uh, we were fixing to do an onside kick, and we didn't have the right personnel on the field. So another mismanagement deal. We had uh, uh, had recognized uh, a kind of a flaw in what uh, they were doing, and uh, our, our where we thought we could get an advantage. And so we had you kicked a field goal, made it a one point game, and we were fixing to onside kick it. And uh, you know we have a launch pad over there that everybody's supposed to be on, and. We didn't have the right personnel to run it, and so it was mismanagement. <coughs> Next question here on the left. Mike, with Coach Lindsey uh, assisting with the play calling, just what was that adjustment like for you out there? Yeah, I mean, when you, when you have a coach like Coach Graham and you know that you're going to hire somebody, you know immediately you're going to get somebody that has, that's going to bring class and character to this football team. And from the second that coach came on campus, it was exactly that. 
immediately built a relationship with him, and he gave me a lot of uh, freedom and um, just allowed me to be comfortable out there on the field to use my eyes and be able to, uh, you know, see checks and be able to make those certain checks. But he did an outstanding job tonight, and I think it's just a testament to, you know, our players being able to welcome somebody with open arms because, you know, it's not easy to come in here for two and a half, three weeks and uh, put together a ball game like that. But, you know, for the senior group, it's just been an incredible run. And to go out like that, obviously, on the scoreboard, it doesn't look the way we want it to. But I couldn't be more proud to be a captain of this football team and to have a coach like Coach Graham. We have a question here on the right towards the back. Todd, you said a few weeks back that you believe in momentum from one season to the next. How do you overcome this finish then? And, and, and I guess what, what's your message now? I mean, I think uh, you use this motivation. You know, um, um, you know that that, uh, that was a game that there was another, you know, game where we, um, you know, had every opportunity to win. Got to give them credit too. I mean, they did a lot of you know they're pretty pretty good players. Like that, you know, the receiver we we were struggled covering the number one was special. Uh, he played really well, and they they did some things that were, you know, nothing we didn't work on. They were, um, you know, really good team. So, you know, I mean. It's not like, um, I mean, if you're around our building and around our program, uh, you know, the, the, the culture that we have is not one that just blows with the wind, whether, you know, I mean, what, if we, speak, we say we're a program about character, then, then how, how, how in the world can, can that not be something? I mean, what, what are we going to do, fall apart because we lose five close games? Not, no, you, you go back to work and, you, you know, sometimes, uh, um, you know, things don't come easy. Sometimes things are hard. You know, and uh, it's, it's frustrating. I mean, it's really frustrating because we've lost five games that we were right in the cusp of winning, two, two on the final play. But um, we'll use this as motivation. And I'll tell you, the biggest motivation we have, and Mike will tell you, that, man, when you do this, and that's one of the reasons why we do it the way we do it, because the reward and the gift for these guys at the end of this thing is the relationships that we have. And uh, I can tell you this, we're going to be motivated to go these guys have laid a great foundation, and our goal and our purpose and our program is to, you know, teach young men how to live championship lives and about winning championships. I said that from the day I first came here, and um, uh, we're going to go to work. We're going to use this as motivation, and, um, you know, sometimes when you win 20 games, you know, 10 games, you know, back-to-back uh, -back 10 win seasons, you know, sometimes you, you know, you, you, you maybe take those things for granted. And I'm talking about, you know, uh, uh, you, you know, it's hard. Winning, winning college football games at this level is extremely hard, and um, you know, uh, there's a but there's a lot of mistakes that are made that we can correct, and uh, our players don't have anything to hang their head about because they gave us everything they had this year, and um, we we faced some adversity. So does every team. Every team has injuries. Every team has challenges. You know. Um, uh, but, um, man, I'll tell you this, this program's on strong foundation because of the relationships and how our players feel about each other and because of the values that we stand for. I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud. I mean, we're not immune to people getting in trouble, but they can guarantee you they know exactly what's going to happen when they do. They're going to be held accountable. And our program is different, the standard that we have, and so it creates this culture that we have. So how we're going to respond to this is like a champion. And we're going to be motivated. Uh, if we'd have won today, uh, yeah, I mean, it had been a heck of a lot nicer. But uh, that didn't take away from, from uh, who we are and what we're about. And uh, I, for one, am, am extremely motivated because it, it's really frustrating. I, I, you know, I, th these seniors are, have been such a – in all my years of coaching, this is the most special group that I've ever had. They have done more, sacrificed more, made more changes, um, been open to so many uh, changes and how we do all the little things and – you know, we were talking about that last night. You know, every senior gets a chance to talk. And, and um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of where we're at. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, we came in and, man, we, had, we, we wanted to win Pac-12 championship. We've been right on the cusp of it. And, uh, you know, we've won our, our, our fair share of games. And we didn't this year. And uh, what you do, you use this as motivation. You go back to work and you get hungry and you work harder. You push harder uh, and you don't make those mistakes. We made too many mistakes today. The mistakes is what beat us today, you know, and it wasn't our effort. Thank you, coach and players. That concludes our press conference. Okay. Thank you. Oh.